We're going to assemble these all together. I'm going to show you some of the tools you're going to need. So you just need a wrench. You're going to need blue Loctite, right? You're going to need a torque wrench. You're going to need two Torx bits. So technically you need a Torx Plus. So you're going to need a 40 Torx Plus. This is a 40 Torx, right? And this is a 40 Torx Plus. So this is the one you really need. The difference is in the end, and it's where it's going to sit on the bolt. So I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to show you. See, they're slightly different. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to put it together. We're going to put the first part together, So which is basically installing the outer part of the damper onto the hub. You're going to see there's a little dimple mark here. I added a little yellow paint, so hopefully you guys can see it. A little yellow mark here, also offset hole shows it. You're going to put the two together. Okay. So you're going to line them up as best you can, as straight as you can. It takes a little effort. And there you go. And that's it. Then what you're going to do is you're going to find a bolt. It already has blue Loctite on it. Don't worry about this because we're going to be adding some to it. We just got to get seated a bit. We're going to put that in there. And this one 180 degrees from it. Then we're going to take our Torx Plus wrench. I'm going to see if we get a little bite. Then we get a little bite. Just a bit at a time. You don't want to get carried away. You're going to work it down. So even though the instructions only says to use 180s, I'm going to add two more in across 180 from it because just from previous experiences putting things together I like doing things in a torquing pattern even for seating things don't worry about the Loctite that's on them we're gonna take these off and we're gonna put the more Loctite on them so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them off and check out seated you see the Loctite has no bite that they put on it right now. It's easy to come off. So I like to keep things a little organized, keep everything in its place. Have the other one. So this is seated. Basically it's nice and tight. It's all good. We're ready. We're going to put the six bolts in and put some Loctite on them. We're going to lock this part down. And then we're gonna move on to the next part, which is this one, okay? So this has two ways to go on. Obviously, it could actually mount both ways. You could, you could do this wrong if you really wanted to, okay? You do not want it to look like this. You want it to look like this, okay? Don't worry about that. That's just a bunch of the stuff coming off my table. So this is how you want your harmonic balancer to look. Just like this. Okay? So we're going to get to this point. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we're going to torque the bolts down. So we already tightened it down. We got it seated. It's all good. This is the top flange again. Just the one. It's on. You're going to need your blue Loctite. Again, just because the container's blue, it's blue Loctite, it's the proper one. These come with Loctite on them. Again, that doesn't matter. You're going to put a little shot of Loctite on them. Then you're going to stick them in. And then what you can do, just going to turn them down as much as you can. Finger tight. Some of them, some of them go a little looser in pairs. Then when, after you get them all tightened down, you're going to torque them down. So I'll tighten all these down. I'll show you what it looks like getting them torqued down in a second. Okay, so I'll go across, 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 across. Across. And they're all kind of hand tight. They're evenly torqued down. That's a hand tight torque down. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my torque wrench and I'm going to torque them down. The torque rating for it 
is basically what the instructions say. I'm not gonna tell you what to torque it to. Okay, so you're gonna torque these three down to the proper torqueage. Depends on what it is. You might need to clamp this down. Do not clamp anything on here and damage any of this. You can literally torque these down with your hand. Depends on. Okay, all six bolts are torqued down. We torqued them all down. Got the torquage we need. Okay, let's get the rest of our uh, ATI super damper together. Again, this is for my C6 Corvette. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this part, you're gonna put it on the back, it's going this way, okay? So it can assemble this way, pull it wrong. You can make it work if you really try. It's not gonna do you any good. It's gotta go this way, okay? So you're gonna wanna line these up. With these three holes, you're gonna notice that they're threaded on the inside on some of them, don't worry about that. Just kind of sneak it through, put them together, make sure you're getting the right one, you'll kind of click into it, and you'll feel that it's the right one or wrong one. And there you go. You're gonna start tightening into it. So that's the one you want. So all I'm gonna do is put this one bolt in so I can put Loctite on the other ones and I can set them, okay? So again, you're gonna put Loctite on them. Blue Loctite. This is a longer bolt. We're not gonna be as chintzy with it. We're not gonna just put a drop on it. We'll put like a couple drops. Drop it in. Screw it down. Same thing with this one. Put a couple drops, screw it down. Take this one back out. Couple drops, screw it back down. Then you're gonna take your wrench, same as last time. These are perfect torquing sequence because you're just gonna go torque it on so it's kind of snug. Go to the next one. Just how you feel, it's about the same tightness as the other one. There we go. See, you can feel, next one's a little loose, this one's a little loose, that one's tight. That, one's, that one was pretty loose. Okay, so it's seating itself again. Just like always, things will seat themselves. See, now that one's super loose. You can feel it coming up. If you really wanted to, hold up the bottom, pull it up, keep tightening them up. It's probably a smarter way to do it. Got it, there, there. Go around again. Go around again. Okay, now they're all finger tight. Now we're going to take our Torx Plus, we're going to take it, we're going to put on our torque wrench, then torque it to the proper foot pounds that we set it for. Take it, put it on the side, torque it down. Okay. I'm gonna go over this one more time. Just doing it on the video, it's a little harder. I'm gonna get a better grip on it. I'm gonna make sure they're torqued down properly. And that's it. That is your ATI Super Damper assembled for a C6 Corvette. So again, all you need, Torx plus bit, torque wrench, blue Loctite, and another wrench. That's all you need to put together this one. Again, this is a 917266 ATI damper. And that's it.